And when I came up, I got a job in recruitment mm -hmm. on Teesside. And they, that business actually wanted me to go and it wasn't doing great. So they asked me just to go and, you know, help resurrect it. So when I was sat there, I was thinking, well, you know, you're kind of doing all of this hard work. For someone else. I didn't really know the area that well, but I thought you're kind of doing all of this graft. Why don't you do it for yourself? And I had some money saved up, which I was going to travel the world. I thought I'll travel the world, which I'd never really done apart from a few holidays abroad. Um, but I thought, you know what? K keep your money, save your money, put it towards the business um, and see what happens. So it seemed like a great idea. And before I knew it, I was seeing the bank manager and I had an office, I had an accountant, and there I was over the road doing exactly the same. How was like your first year in business? How did you, did you, were you west straight from the start or was it like more? It was horrendous. It was bloody awful. Um, yeah, it, it was always going to be Westray. Westray is my maiden name. That's where that came from. I was going to I didn't know that. I was going to yeah. ask you where, the, where it came from. It was my maiden name. And you know, I always hated it when I was at school. No, I wanted to be a Smith or a Brown or something that, you know, I always hated my name, but I thought, no, you know, it's, that's what I'm going to call the business. So, um, no, it, it was a tough first year, but, you know, not uh, more so than because I was pregnant just a couple of months in. Um, so I had morning sickness. But other than that, I was pretty fit. I was still exercising. So, you know, I, I can't grumble about how bad, bad my pregnancy was. Plus, I had to get on with it. I couldn't sit with my feet up, you know, so I'd be running out to throw up, but then I'd be back on the phone trying to generate some business. And then when Ashley did come along, I used to take her into work with me. So, you know, I'd be trying to keep her quiet while I was on the phone and I'd be breastfeeding as well. I don't mind saying that. Was that was probably horrendous. before Zoom though. <laughs> 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 uh, the breastfeeding lasted about three weeks it was just it didn't fit in with my lifestyle at the time but um but by then I'd actually employed somebody as well so there was me and another girl and she was a great help um but that said before that if I just wind back a little bit um business when I first set it wasn't going as well as I'd have um, hoped that it would so um, the bank, the assistant bank manager, who um, uh, who was my contact at the bank, was putting pressure on me, telling me that, you know, sorry, you're not generating enough business. We're going to have to stop supporting you. It's just not viable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, and I'm thinking, well, bloody hell, uh, you know, what am I going to do? You know, and it was 1990. It was a recession as well. It was one of the major recessions that we'd had. So uh, nobody wanted to speak to me. It was just a nightmare. So anyway, he gave me two weeks. He said, you've got two weeks if nothing happens and I'm sorry, but that's it. So Anyway, I got past the first week and I thought, well, this is it. I'm pregnant, no job. Um, he's breathing down my neck. I'll ring him and plead for a stay of execution. <laughs> but I knew that he would say no because I also had a dog. And the week before, I'd met him on the corner where my office was and my dog had jumped up in his nice crisp white shirt with his dirty paws, so he really didn't like me. He liked me even less after that. But anyway, I rang him and he wasn't in. He was on holiday, so I got to speak to the actual branch manager in the days when you could just walk in, into the bank. So he said, look, come and see me. Went to see him, uh, see him and he agreed to support me. He said, right, okay, you know, we'll go with it. And <laughs> two weeks after that, I still had no business, but I got a call from a client that I'd been speaking to and he wanted about 20 pipe fitters and welders and, you know, kind of tradespeople. 
that I had, I didn't have a clue what they did because it just wasn't something that, you know, I was an office recruiter. I've been placing secretaries. So what did a pipe fitter do? But, you know, when under those circumstances, you learn quick. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, pretty quickly, I managed to kind of fulfill that contract. Um, and I'll forever be grateful to that business and to um, the bank manager at the Royal Bank of Scotland on Albert Road in Middlesbrough, who I'm sure will not be with us at the moment. Yeah.